What's up guys? Welcome back to a new Duel Links video. We're going to be taking a look at Cyrus Truesdale and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I already made a couple videos on him talking about his roid cards that are going to be added to Duel Links, but we're going to see which ones has been specifically been added to the game, because when I covered all the roid cards that are going to be in the game at some point, there was a lot of them, so let's see how this works. And this is also my first impressions on the event. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash the like button down below, and if you're new, subscribe to the channel. But let's get on to this video. So Cyrus Truesdale is here. Aw oh, man, Chaz Jaden. And Alexis, way to hurt my feelings. You came here to play without telling me. Whoa. Is the tour guide from the underworld a real dual monster spirit? Yo, Cyrus is like, hot damn, that's my waifu. <laughs> that means I can see spirits too? Awesome, dual links. Well, I'm an AI. What? You can talk too? Oh, well, of course I can talk. I'm an AI after all. An AI, not a spirit. I am talking to a mirror. I said AI twice already, three times now. Yeesh. You kind of have an attitude for AI, but I guess an AI and spirit are really similar. You both are great. It's like a dream. You don't know what a thrill it is to see you. Damn, you know, relatable, Cyrus. Haha, <laughs> for now, don't go overboard. But hey, is Thunder Night and Night? <laughs> Damn, Tyrus is like, Tyrus is like out here for all of the waifus. Huh? Thunder Night and Night, she's my card crush. Uh... Oh, I wish I could meet her, or even Dark Magician Girl. Then allow me to introduce you to a special monster. Oh? This monster is dark and cute and powerful and will give you a hug? For real, Dark Magician Girl? Damn, that's best waifu for sure. 100%. What a bear. That's a bear. Yeah, it's a cute bear. Uh, give that kid a hug and crush him. You're so mean. Save me, Jay. That's great. That's, you know, that's fantastic. That was great. Uh, so yeah, so sadly, this is going to be a roaming duelist event, which is pretty garbo in my opinion. Uh, Cyrus Truesdales are appeared in Dual World GX, strength in your deck by obtaining Express Roid. Uh, you are currently in Dual World DM, Cyrus Truesdale only appears in Dual World GX. For a limited time, Cyrus will appear in Dual World. Uh, Cyrus drops rare cards at higher levels, we all know this, yeah, this is the same old, same old, it's just a lame, um... And just a good old lame Roman Duelist event, but we are going to check out some of these cards. So, as you can see right here, we got an event missions right here. So, if we achieve three no damage wins against uh, Cyrus Trace, choose Truesdale using Jaden, we can get Supercharge. Uh, yep, this card right here, when your opponent declares an attack while the only monsters you control are machine toy type roid monsters, draw two cards. Nothing too crazy right there, but um, yeah, draw two is really nice. We got Ambulance Roid, when a roid monster is added to your graveyard, to your hand, you can special summon that monster. Uh, and that one right here is if you receive one no damage win. If you win one duel against Cyrus, you can get Rescue Roid. When a roid monster you control is throw a balance at the graveyard, you can turn that monster to your owner's hand. Very nice. If we win three uh, duels, we can get Ambulance Rescue Roid. It cannot be a special summon except for a fusion summon once per turn. A monster on your side of the field is destroyed and balances the graveyard. You can special summon that monster in defense position. Next up, we got Parasycroid. Let's get it, baby. Two machine-type monsters with the same name. This card can attack your opponent directly. I wonder if we can see any memes with this card. I'm not sure if it'll be too meme yet, but very nice. Hey, it's a 1600 direct attack. That's not terrible. And you can equip stuff to this card, so you can try to boost this up as much as you can. Now, if Power Bond was in the game, this card would be ridiculous because in Duel Links, you know, the standard life points is like 4,000. So, like, if you get pat like Power Bond with this card and a direct attack, oh, That'd be wild, but Power Bond's not in the game just yet. And then the UR Express Roid. This guy's going to really help you out if you guys are going to play. Uh, what is this the one? When this card, somebody can target two Roid monsters in the graveyard and add your hand. Never mind. I was thinking of a different one. Uh, yeah, pr pretty interesting right there. We also have, ooh, what's this card do? Limit. Oh, yeah, this one isn't too bad. Inverse Universe. This card's probably going to be one you guys won't want to go for. Switch the attack and defensive all face up effect monsters on the board. That's not too bad. That effect right here, this card, I could definitely see some people making some fun decks with this. That's for sure. Yeah, just like try to build a deck that has monsters with like really high defense, and you're good to go with this card because it doesn't in all monsters on the board, and it doesn't, and it doesn't say um till the end of the turn. So once you play this, they're just simply like that, which is super cool. Uh, we also, ooh, we got Submarine Roid too. That's going to be added to the game. This card can attack your opponent directly, and if it does, using this effect, the battle damage flicked is your opponent's the original attack of this card. At the end of the damage step, if this card is attacked or attacking, you can switch this card to defense position. Yeah. Character profile, uh, Cyrus Trudell. You guys can read up on this. It's basically just telling us everything about him. Um. Okay, so yeah, we still got the Gladiator Beast event, and apparently... 
what is this? Stall duels to end date has a changed? Okay, that's cool. So you guys still have more time to complete this event. I would complete this event, guys. You get all the gems and coins from this event as you can and as fast as you could. And yeah, we get extended two days, which is really cool. So that's very nice. And then, yeah, ooh, DD Tower appears. So on March 9th, we're getting the DD Tower. Wind and Earth Dimension is coming. New cars will be added as prizes. Aim for the top, knocking down any formidable enemy that stands your way. So that's cool. So we actually get two uh, events this week. We get the Cyrus event. We still have the Gladiator Beast event. And then once the Gladiator Beast event's done, we get DD Tower. So that's very cool. We also got the bonus reward campaign. You guys can now farm for skills again in casual if you guys want to. Very nice. So we're going to go switch to GX real quick. Let's see. So, yeah, let's see where Chen, where uh, Cyrus is. As we can see, Cy Aster, your pro moves took out my brother. Let's see how good they are. So, yeah, let's just see all the rewards. So, we got some ones that we didn't see yet. We got Express Roid. We talked about that. We talked about Submarine Roid, Inverse Universe, Ambulance, Parasite Roid. So, we talked about Rescue Roid, Supercharge. We did not talk about Carrier Roid, Four Star Water Machine. When an opponent activates a card effect that targets and destroys a spell, trap cards you control, you can discard one card and negate its activation. If you do, destroy the card. Nothing too crazy right there. We got Patrol Roid or Pat Roid. Shout out to my boy Pat. Once per turn during your main phase, you can look at one face on card. Opponent controls return to the original position. 1200 attack and 1200 defense. And then that's pretty much it. So yeah, these cards are not really mad. It's exactly like Zane when he dropped into the game. It's like nothing that you can really use to build a solid deck. It just supports other decks. Like you can, like inverse universe, you can tack into some other decks. But like roids by themselves, I don't know if they're going to be super viable. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. He's just kind of there to be there. This is probably going to be a good auto duel event, to be honest. Uh, not too sure on this event too much. Overall, it's just another roaming duels event, which is pretty lame in my opinion. All he's really useful for is an extra person to auto duel um, in the map. So that kind of sucks. But I think it's going to do it for this quick video. Um, sorry for not getting my Q&A video out today. I'm going to definitely do it tomorrow for you guys to so look out for that. But that's going to do it for today's YouTube video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.